Hello, thank you very much for joining me. So today I'm just at the foot of Mount Celeb and we're gonna climb this bad boy. Let's get going. Just as I'm making my way up, I did notice this. Not sure what it is or what it used to be. So it looks like it's kind of decommissioned, but nice. And the jumper's off. It's not the biggest mountain, but as you can see, she's some steep. A nice bit of railing there. A little bit of luxury. Look at those views, delicious. Quick drink stop. And now we're going up these stairs here. Let's do this. So I've just been having a little hike around down Slev so you can see all of these mountain ranges in the distance. Absolutely beautiful. Bit of Bob Ross. Now I'm just gonna hike back up there only got a few hours left to light so yeah i want to get a nice vantage point get a lovely bit of bit of viewing going on that's a beautiful church that some absolutely cute little houses so up here you do get quite a lot of these little canyon type of areas you can hear there's there's a bit of waterfall coming down you get little caves so yeah you could do a nice little bit of survival here beautiful little area look at the beauty out there lovely so i'm gonna park up just here tonight literally camped all over celeb before never never down on this little area Obviously, I keep good care of it, no fire or anything needed. Just some beauty views to look at. Got a nice little uh, bit there, I'll just sit on the side bit, cook up, knock up a little coffee. Beauty view for it. All set up for tonight. Lovely jubbly. And of course, beautiful views. Absolutely buzzing flat. Gonna crack on and get some food on now. Dinner time, let's see what we got. So tonight I got the semolina. Had this one quite a few times. I've said it before, that's my absolute favorite dry food meal. Absolutely, totally recommend that one. And I'm gonna have that with a lovely little rum flavored beer tonight as it was my birthday a couple of days ago. So lovely view for it. Just gonna sit back and enjoy those two really tired tonight so it won't be long after that before i put a button on it yeah we'll see if it's uh if it's still light or or whatnot before then if that is rum flavored my name's wendy honestly it's never seen rum it is tasty but come on have a day off absolutely delicious as ever that one and look at that now with all of the lights coming on looking absolutely majestic Maybe one time I go and camp over here, that looks a lovely little spot. You've got a lovely vantage over the lake. And of course you've got the mountains on the other side. Anyways, I'm gonna hit the hay now, so I'll check you in the AM. Lovely coffee to start the day off. Some beauty views of Lake Geneva. I'm gonna enjoy those and then pack up and get the day on. Always love the little dry spot of leaves there. Gorgeous. And we'll say a farewell to this little area. Let's have a nice little hike down. I'm gonna head down through these uh, couple of villages down here now because you've got some lovely views overlooking the mountains on the side there. So 
yeah be tasty viewing beautiful little buildings look at the top of that one Whoa, nice morning hike these classic shutters make me laugh they are beautiful really conventional but honestly I had a uh, had them for a year and a half, used them all of two times, I think. Draw the curtains, don't you? Back in England, we draw the curtains. What a place to play your football. Another lovely spot to play your football. Now I've played in some beauty, beauty locations, especially around the southwest of England, Cornwall. Hashtag home, but these ones are flat, never seen it. The circus coming to town there. That was pretty random, just a load of circus trucks and, and that just went past. But that's the name of the place here, Monetia. It's starting to rain. And I'm just going down onto this trail now. That just there is Le Vieson. Really, really beautiful river. Runs right down through quite a large area of France. I followed it down a few different areas, camp there. Really beautiful. Look at those mountains over there with that powder white over the top. So I've done a few videos over there, one in particular of me uh, flying over in an aeroplane, really, really absolutely luxurious views. Honestly, these little mountain villages are so cute. One thing I love about them as well is you never see any rubbish, any litter, nothing thrown on the sides, no furniture out left there or anything like that. Absolutely well taken care of. Nice little community vibes. Reminds me of a few of the smaller places like St. Neat and so on and so forth in Cornwall. So yeah, the trail went off at the top there. I'll um, keep going down here and then I'll go back onto another little trail and hopefully I should get a nice panoramic view of the mountains, although it is quite, quite blurry today out there. So uh, we'll see if the fog eases off a little bit, won't we? Lovely. Lovely old church. Clock's not working. Paddock on there, but bet they had some good times in there. Some lovely views from the back of it. Viva de France. Nearly back onto this trail now. Chemin de four minutes. Always makes me laugh when I see a uh, see these roads with like uh, S September the 1st as a name or something like that always oh, pretty cool you get it a lot in France and uh, in Switzerland what a waste so the clouds are out in force today I'll come back soon enough get a view of that so you've got Ammas just to the side, just over here. That, that's the first place I lived when I first moved out here. Just a little French town, just on the border between there and Switzerland. Thought I'd save myself a little bit of time and basically cut a little section out by coming over the top. Just here you can see I've scrambled down here, but by the time I scrambled up the other end, I'm pretty sure I've probably probably taking a bit longer if I'm being honest than what it would have took just following the, the route I was on. Got a nice big fire here though so I think I've found a beauty little camp spot that I can come back to another time. I thought if I came this way you could see this beautiful little uh, old chateau, beautiful castle area, it's now a farm but this used to be kind of like a border between the two. Beauty. Absolutely beautiful. Just look at those buildings. Insane. When I get to the front of Slev, I'll just show uh, uh, basically the direction that I went yesterday. Just give you a bit of clarity because it's a bit difficult to show when you're up there. What a 
beauty of a place. It's a lovely little area. Got some old kind of foundations and stuff around. Not sure what was here before, but I'm gonna have to walk next to this now, which is not my most joyful things of doing. Not really a big fan of walking next to roads. So uh, yeah, I maybe should have planned it a little bit better. To be honest, I, I literally, I haven't been for a few weeks. So I just grabbed my stuff yesterday, headed out the door and decided Celeb was the one. And you can nearly see just about where I was last night. Then obviously, as I said, as we go around to the front of it, to the face, I'll show you where I originally went up yesterday. Good thing about with Slev is you've got absolutely so many access points. It's really, really uh, friendly for all types. So, you know, older people, younger people, whatever it be, there's, I think seven or eight routes that I've done. And I know there are a few more. Um, lots of like hidden caves and all stuff like this. Really, really great Celeb. It was the first um, mountain that I climbed when I first moved here. And I've done it with uh, two of my cousins. Big shout out to Cheryl and Chelsea. Uh, my best mate Dean. And another one of my mates Dean. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've done it a few times. Literally absolutely amazing mountain. Good story of me and Dean when we done it actually was uh, yeah, basically we got stuck up there. Plans to get the teleferric down. And Dean has a little bit of a bad heart, so hiking down's a bit tough for him. We ended up hitchhiking and uh, yeah, really, really funny. Met a, a lovely couple that gave us a lift down, but yeah, that's, that's my celeb stories. What did I say about the furniture? And that, would not happen in Switzerland. On this, all the way down, all the way down towards the bottom, had a little view over all of the mountains over the side, all the way back up to here, stayed here last night, all the way back down and all the way back here. So, quite a fair bit of hiking, lovely to get out. I've not been out for a while, so literally, when I'm like that, I just grab my bag and go. Been a brilliant day out. Really needed that after a lot of heavy working. And uh, at the moment, I'm on a little bit of a break from work for a few days. Still got a little bit here and there to do, but should be able to get out and, and climb a couple more mountains. The Julius Caesar Fountain. That is really aesthetic. Got a nice little fruit bar. Gonna tuck into this one. Call it a day. Thank you for watching.